Okay. Let's You're getting nervous, big guy. I'm not getting nervous. Shit. <laughs> No, we just leave it, bro. No, no, just go, just go, just go. Just go, go. I'm rolling. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're here at the Cast Out Podcast. I'm with Ace, and we've decided to get two guests on today. Um, we've got a Tokyo Olympian by the name of Polo Akuso. He's a Tokyo... Oh, man. Just leave Tokyo it, bro. Olympian, just yeah. roll it, bro. What are you <laughs> saying? Are you with me around the show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This guy. He's a Tokyo yeah, Olympian, yeah. fighting out a lot, heavyweight division for Australia. Also, he's been in the world number two, so he's a very good medal prospect for Australia. We're also joined by Loma Lil Moala out of the Moala Boxing Academy. What What's going on, boys? Apollo, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, you sweet. Oh, yeah, geez. we're going good, Cash. Huh? How yeah. are you going? What's going on? Yeah, good, bro. Yeah. That's all right. You don't have to yeah. be nervous around yeah, It's us, a bit nerve wracking next to the star right here, you know what I mean? I know the star. <laughs> The star aura is affecting this area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's going on, bro? It is what it is, eh? Yeah. It's a week out from the Olympics, bro. What's going on? Uh, no, nah, we've just been training hard. Um, we've got six days until I leave. Yes. Yeah, no. Nah, so you leave next Thursday, right? Yeah, next yeah. Thursday. Yeah, so, no, nah, we're just going to train hard. Um, we've got a bit, got a few media. Eh? Yeah. Got a few media coming <clears> in tomorrow, yeah. next week, Wednesday. Uh, it's definitely new, but something I'll get used to it. Yeah. I think the people want to know a bit of your backstory, bro. Like, um, how this whole boxing thing came to be. Because you've only been fighting for five years, right? Yeah, five years. Yeah. Nah, I never did boxing, like, when I was young. Like, yeah. um, I was always playing rugby. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted to be in the NRL, play for Prime Matter and all that. But, uh, 2015, I kind of just gave it up. Yeah. And then my dad just took me in. He took yeah. me into boxing. He was like, you know what, son? I think you should do boxing. But yeah. at the start, because I wanted to do boxing, he was like, nah, son, you can't do it. You're poofed up. Yeah. Oh, no. Was like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Islander fathers. Yeah, they just yeah. locked it. It's like, like, nah, I don't think like. you could be able to do it. Like, I don't think you have the, the heart to do it. Mm. I was like, oh, I might as well give it a try. So I gave it a try. Expectation then, level so high. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, I only trained like, what? Six, eight weeks and yeah. I was in the ring already. Yeah. That's a crazy everywhere. story, man. Like, yeah. five years boxing from that to go to, go to the Olympics. Like, uh, like, oh, that's crazy, yeah. bro. Um, my first year of boxing, I was fighting people that had like over 100 fights. Oh, no way. Yeah, so his people had like, 10 plus years of experience. So yeah. I was just like, fuck, man. Like, how, you know, like, yeah, yeah. how I want to get to that. Yeah, yeah. But I just kept training hard. Yeah. I lost to them. I lost to heaps of fighters. Yeah. But I it goes guess, to show, man, you can mm, do anything you put your mind to, man. That's exactly. Crazy. That's, a, yeah, that's yeah. a crazy story, man. Because a lot of people just just give up and yeah. just, you know, just. Because how many, how, how many amateur belts have you had? Less than 40. Oh, less than 40. Yeah, less wow, than 40. That's crazy, man. Yeah. I've like, seen that fight that you had at the uh, Oceana uh, Olympic qualifiers. I think it was against that. What's his name? Biz Kid? Or? I'm not too sure. Biz Kid or so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Numerous. Yeah, yeah. So, so he'll, be, he'll be competing at the Olympics as well, right? Yeah. He just recently won the um, Asia um, competition as well. Yeah. Time to get some payback at the Olympics. Ah, right? yeah, <laughs> so how did you two come to, come to meet? Oh, he was a he was a fanboy. Oh, was yeah. he a fanboy? No, he was a fanboy. No. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, so it was about four, be four years ago. Yeah, yeah. There's three fighters in the world that interest me. You know, I always have this thing where I just know who's going to make you big. Yeah. The first one was Pat McCormack. So he's in the 69 kilo from Great yeah. Britain. Uh, under 57 kilo from Ireland, um, Luke Walker. And then this guy here on my left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I And I knew something special. Now, I already heard about him when I went to Brisbane for a fight. And then they were talking about these two brothers. And yeah. he was, he had the main event against yeah. Clay. And Clay, um, by his merit, yeah, he's his brother's fan. Austin, right? Yeah, yeah. Austin, all, all yeah. the younger. Shout out to Austin. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout out hey, to shout Austin. Out to Austin. No, but Sugar brother, free, but, yeah? yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, just I don't know. I think the stars are aligned. Like, um, you know, I needed Paula, and I think Paula needed me. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you just work well together, man. Uh, the first time I seen him is when you posted that video of this guy. He done a spin behind the guy's, the guy's yeah, back yeah. and he smacked him. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. He really does have eyes behind his behind his head. This bloke. Mm. But yeah, also um. What else, man? How's preparation for the? Are you training like leading up to the camp, or are you? Yeah, no, nah, we're training three times a day. I mean, leading up to the Olympics. No, nah, we're training uh, three times a day. Just getting used to it. I mean, frick, I've never used to run like one hour every single day. Like, who the <laughs> fuck does that? <laughs> <laughs> is, is, your, is your preparation different from the Olympics to your normal fights? Yeah, way different. Basically? It's way harder. It's yeah. just all mental way. Yeah, it's all mental. Um, before it was just you know just get out there train you know. 30, 45 minutes. This guy makes you train like an hour to two hours. <laughs> I've been watching your guys' yeah. videos, man. They're crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was different. I was on like Throwing one hour balls of around, hill sprints. Throwing balls around, sprinting. <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah. I was on one hour of hoof sprints and all of a sudden this guy made me do some shuttles. <laughs> I was like, oh. It's working though, yeah. bro. You got Is like, this every day though? Almost every day, yeah. Every day. Every yeah. day. What's your, what's your day like? Like when you wake up? So I wake up like sometimes 5.30, 6.30. Yeah. Run. Run for an hour. About 10 to 11 Ks. And then after that, we do oh, a bit of boxing. Crazy, 
Yeah, a bit of boxing. So all work, running and just work. like um, sparring and that? Yeah. Every day? Every day. You spar? How many oh, sparring a week? Well, sparring, I haven't, I haven't been sparring lately. Like, it's yeah. hard to get sparring partners here in, yeah. in Sydney. Yeah, you've got to stop beating them around. That's what. <laughs> yeah. Um, is, is that why? Yeah. Is that, is that why you can't find them? Hey, uh, so, I mean, I don't know. Why don't you I give mean, this guy a go? He reckons he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, Oh, anyway, on his own, back, to, back to the topic. Back to the topic. <laughs> no, this guy, yeah. I, I told him I'll bring some pads, right? And I said I want to, I want you guys to see if he's got any. any yeah, hand. always taking the piss. He was always saying that he's a mad boxer and this and shit. Always you know? taking the piss. Though. We should just want to see. Next week we should, we should do it. You know? Why not? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it next week. We'll next week. <laughs> but anyway, back to back to the topic. What's the difference between you training with other like strength and conditioning coaches in Loma? What does Loma bring to the table that they don't know? Oh, the difference between them and Loma is that. Lomo, Lomo knows like specific stuff to tell you, mm. which will motivate you. Like he always told me, like um, don't let anyone take food off your mom's plate. Yeah. yeah. So that obviously like drives me and it pisses me off. Just too. make you like, angry. Yeah. Bro. Like fuck, no one's taking food off my mom's yeah, plate. Yeah, eh? I'll carry a gun into the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard. <laughs> nah, like just everything you say is it just I don't know. It just motivates me. It pushes me harder. Pushes me to my limits. Yeah, he's, he's got some yeah, motivation. Yeah, because yeah, 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 I follow you, man, on uh, Instagram. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you motivate me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, put that shit on shirts, bro. Yeah, oh, I think have to. Yeah. I think, like, for me... um, You've been doing it a long time, mate. Eh? Yeah, but, like, <clears throat> I think I'm the type of guy, like, I like to help nurture people to become the best at what they are. Yeah. Um, And yeah, even, like, when good. I... And even... <clears throat> Paulo doesn't notice, like, there's some uh drills that I do, especially the rowing machine, and I know how hard it is, and... When he's doing it and he's pushing and he's getting these times and you can see he's putting every effort because I know what it felt like because I did it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally cry inside because I'm like, fuck, this is why this kid's going to be an Olympic champion. Yeah, because you've been there before, right? Yeah. And you I'm medaled like, in the, mm. the 2010 New Delhi Olympics. Yeah, like, like, like the come-offs. Yeah, yeah. come-off games. So. Give the people a bit of a backstory on your <clears throat> on your story, man. So, yeah. So, I went to two com games. So, I went to 2010 come-offs. That's where I fought Josh Taylor. So, yeah. Joss Taylor is the undisputed world champion now, one of the best going around. Yeah. Uh, ended up winning a, a games medal. So first ever, I'm not a lightweight anymore, but first lightweight medalist <laughs> for Tonga. So I grabbed a bit of history for myself. But after that, um, yeah, like just a, a box on for a couple more years. I obviously fought Vassal Lomachenko. Yeah. Um, and then I just fell out of love with the sport. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that stunt you put at the 2014 uh, Commonwealth Games. So you came out with the Celtics. Uh, yeah, shit. fuck. Um, Copped a lot of flack for that. Yeah, eh? man. It's, it's <laughs> fucking weird. It's a double edged sword with us Tongans, eh? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I got a lot of stick for it. I was still wearing my Tupenu. So if you know what a Tupenu is, it's like the, someone's called like a lava. Love love, so it's like a Tongan mat. Yeah. I, I did not disrespect Tongan any way doing that. Yeah. Um, and obviously, it made me a sensation like overnight over yeah. in, in Glasgow. Um, but there was a lot of Tongan people hated. What, what did you do, man? <laughs> Bro, what was it? What did you do? Oh, I just came out in a Celtic uh, top. Boston so, Celtic. Yeah, so Celtic is the football club yeah. that's in Glasgow. And um, when I oh. pulled out the top, it was at Celtic Park. Because yeah, yeah, you were doing yeah. it as a joke. You, 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 I think you put it on Twitter. You tweeted. Oh, you I get said, 100 tweets yeah, if I get 100 tweets and it went viral, I got like 7,000 tweets. Yeah. But it was, I love, Celtic is a team that I follow. Yeah, you probably just a... But yeah, pay respects I, to the city. Yeah, and, it, and I don't, I don't know how viral it's gonna go. But then you know how Islanders are, man. They just find anything to nitpick. Yeah, at. and then I, it's I, funny because I, I was just, that. I was just talking to Paulo about that. Uh, the one that went to the Rio games, that Peter, whatever the fuck his name is, that <laughs> took his that? Na- his top off. Oh, which one? Uh, remember at uh, the opening oh, ceremony. You mean that that skier wasn't he a skier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck I, you, I, Peter. I heard, I, I heard, I heard that he didn't like he went shit. In his sport, and then he went yeah. to try to go to the Winter Games. Yeah, so I went like to, look, like, I, got no, I got no ill feelings. Put your but, shirt back on; it's cold. Yeah, but it, it's a double edged sword for me because then, as soon as he come out of his top off, whatever, rah rah rah, or coconut up, yeah. and all the Tongans started loving him. Like, where the fuck was my like embracing Tongan culture? Yeah, and then every girl in the world's like, oh, Tongans must look like him. It's yeah. like I think yeah. they just must have thought that you like, sort of took the shine from Tonga. Yeah, on the stage, and you know? it's it's hard because like I like to encourage and inspire our people, like, mm. not just Tongans, just. Polynesians in yeah. general, like you know, we have all the wealth and talent and knowledge to do better, but we just yeah. choose not to work hard. And yeah. then as soon as you're doing well, they're all like, "Oh no, nah, you can't fucking yeah. shut the fuck up!" Yeah. Like you 100%, know, bro. yeah. I can't believe you fought Vasil Lomachenko, man. He was like number one before. Did you actually? Like, think... Yeah. So... Before <laughs> shit, man. I've showed him oh, twice. Know, but... yeah, like... I think the mask is too <laughs> tight on honestly, his face. Bro, <laughs> I can't trust anything this guy says. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I keep fought... telling him, I go, bro, he fought Vasil Lomachenko and Josh Taylor, and he's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> his attention span, no, it's no, he wasn't disrespectful. Uh, like, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, how was that, bro? Yeah, it's good. I've um, man, the aura like around Lomachenko is like next level, like. Apart from being a boxer, but being a fan, yeah, he's like next level. It's like wow, like 
when I got in the ring, I was a bit like nervous, but I was like, man, you're fighting one of the greats. Because he was yeah. already a star before the yeah, actual like, games. Yeah, before he become the star, star that he is. He had a lot of amateur fights, eh? He just lost his last fight, eh? Yeah. Two female Lopez, eh? Yeah, he's, he's a good fighter. What do you reckon about that fight? Because we've been talking about it with that George. I just, I just think Lomachenko was just a bit slow to start off with and yeah. I think Tafima just got in a rhythm. He got confident by each round and just used his size. Yeah, ah, Tafima's just way better. Yeah, he's just yeah. better. Yeah, he's like, how do you think him and George Cambosis is going to go? Oh, Lopez. Like coming from two actual boxes, man, because me, I just ramble on with this guy about boxing. But... Yeah, you can answer this one, Paula. Nah, George Cambosis, he's doing... He's doing good for Australia, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, exactly. yeah, you can't discredit that. Yeah, like. yeah. But just uh, the skill level is a yeah. bit different, you reckon? No, just the power as well. Yeah. Power, athleticism, everything. Yeah, I, I'm i not ruling George out because I think he's the type of guy, if he knows Tofimo is going to take him lightly, like underestimate him, he'll mm -hmm. take advantage. That's the only leak he, that George will get that sniff yeah. and he'll beat. Do you reckon Lopez is underestimating him, but? Fuck, yeah. it's hard, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, he, yeah, I think he is, eh? Like George, George can fight. George can fight. Yeah. George can yeah. fight. Mm. Yeah, like, he, yeah, he, go, he, go, he goes on pretty, like, he carries on a bit, but he can fucking Yeah, back he back back. backs yeah. it up, yeah. Because no one in Australia fights like him, too. He's different. Yeah, yeah. he has a different style. Yeah. He's, what weight class is he in compared to you? Same oh, weight class? Yeah, yeah, he's way lower. You've never he's fought him, Oh, he's tiny, yeah. Yeah. They're more your weight class, eh? Yeah, back then, yeah. yeah. So he's he's fighting around. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, I'm, I'm so heavy right now. now. But, but, not now, but, but he is. Like, yeah, yeah. He is back, but yeah, he's, I think he hangs around his 61 kilo mark. Yeah, so, yeah. 61 kilos. Yeah. yeah. 61. So you're around 81, though? 81. Oh, yeah, so big weight, weight class. Wouldn't it be yeah. a bit nerve wracking, bro? I'll be so nervous right now a week out. Bro. I'll be shitting myself. I'll be like, nah, nah, I'm used to it now. Like, mm. freak, just the confidence um, after I've been number two and. Just watching myself, I'm like fuck. When was it that you beat number two? When was this? How far back? This was last year, March. Oh, last year, what was that? Oh, so like an amateur fight or something? Yeah, the amateur close. fight. Yeah. It's the Olympic trials. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, Where's he from? Uh, Uzbek. Okay, I don't know where that is, but Uzbek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the stands, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, oh, yeah. Pakistan, all the stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So, what's the process when you go over there? So when I go over there, um, we have uh, we have a two week camp. Uh, yeah. Nations camp. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they do Nations camp. I mean, like you're gonna be up against, um, you know, um, possible opponents. Yeah, and you're gonna be sparring them and stuff like that. But yeah. what's Nations? What do you so mean? You like, a chance to so like, like Australia yeah. versus yeah. Australia. Nah, so like there'll be like Australia, America, probably like oh. America, Philippines. Yeah. yeah, and they just do a camp and then they spar each other. Yeah. Like it, yeah. it, it's. I mean, it's all right to get work, but at the same time, like you could be versing him. Yeah, mm. come so, to Olympics. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And how about the COVID? Is that going to affect you guys over there? I think they still got to isolate for two weeks, right? Do you have to isolate? Or? No, no, no. Not us. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be in a bubble, eh? Right? Yeah, you guys yeah. will be in a bubble. You'll, we'll be in a bubble. <clears throat> I think we have to, after the nation's camp, I think we have to stay in like our own, yeah, yeah. own area. Yeah. yeah. Is the process the same as Commonwealth Games? Is it Olympics? It's yeah, same. same. same it's just a, uh, there's a bigger platform with the Olympics. How did they determine who's in whose pool, bro? So they so they seed them. So whatever the qualifiers, whether so he qualified in the Asian Oceania qualifiers and you have like Europe, you know, your South Americas. Um, so the top two who made the final get a seeding. So it's kind of like tennis. If you're yeah. the you're the favorite, like say you're Roger Federer, you play the one that's, you know, got a wild card. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. and I've said this to Paul, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, the seed, yeah, it might give you a favorable draw, yeah. but Every fight, fight is a final mm. because every guy there, the intensity will be different. And Paulo will know. So you got to fight every single fight <clears throat> like it's a final fight. Eh? Yeah, it's a final yeah. fight because even if you're not the most talented there at the Olympics, yeah. you, they can still pull off upset. So mm. Paulo's going to go in with a mindset like, you know, everyone's, you know, taking the meal off his mum's plate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone's there to fight. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's there to get the gold. Yeah. How many people um, is in your pool? Like, how does it work? So oh, it's, it's, it's round of 30. Oh, there's, 30 there's 32. 32 people. Yeah, so they, it's a round run. So Paula kicks off July 24th and I think it was July 26th, 29th or something like that. And yeah. then the, the final's on the 4th of August. So, so it's a knockout. It's a knockout. Yeah. So you lose, you're out. Yeah, yeah so it's a knockout. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's 32 guys. They all fight each other. So it's a knockout. So, so that's from the start to the end though. Yeah, so the, he'll have to oh, fight. So he's lucky for <clears throat> Yeah, so yeah. I think yeah. he's going to have to fight four or five times to get to the final. And what's the rest periods in between? It was oh, like two days. Yeah, two days. Yeah, two days. So every you fight every third day. Yeah. yeah. And did doctors come check you and all that kind of stuff yeah. to make sure you're right for the mm. next one? Mm. Shit. Intense. Oh, that's crazy, man. So there'll be no partying for a few weeks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking a uh, so it's not nice sneaky little beer there. Here yeah. <laughs> Nah, I don't drink, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah. <laughs> not while the camera's looking. 
No, nah, believe it or not, I've, I've never drunk. Uh, never? Ever? 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 Bro, keep it that way. Yeah. Yeah. You never drank? You never drank. See, ever. that's proper champion. Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> ah, you're born for this day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't let Loma get into you. No, 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 I'm well, good. Man. I heard you're fighting, at the Brisbane, uh, you're fighting at the Brisbane at the moment. Who's your, who's your current coach, your boxing coach? Uh, Jeff Fraser from uh, Shape Up. Oh, yeah. yeah? Shout out to Jeff Fraser. Uh, so, so, so you were originally <laughs> from Brisbane? Yeah, from Brizzy. So why did you want to play for Para Eels? Shit team, bro. No, I was born and raised here. Yeah, come on, saying, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, oh, that's bro. That's the team, bro. That's the best team, right team boy. Yeah, but, uh, Are you saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, shit. He goes for the ping pong team in Dapto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That made me Ping pong again, champion. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how long have you have you two been training? Uh, wait, wait, let me rephrase that. How long ago did you come into his camp? Uh, since May 4th. Since May 4th? Yeah, May 4th. How's it been? May bro. 4th last year? Or no, this year? year, this year. Oh, shit, so Man, just recent. Quick, yeah, bro. just yeah. recent. Yeah. No, but it's, cool, just a, it's gone quick. It's just a bond day. Like, yeah. It's just, like, we just bonded real quick and then, like, obviously, like, we just, we just knew each other just like that and we just started training hard. Yeah. I mean, like, he, he knew how I was like. Yeah. He knew, he knew my, um, he my upbringing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think that's what made the training camp so mm. good because, like, I have a very similar upbringing to Paula and like what he's trying to strive for and aim for. So it helps. And then even before he come, I said, um, right, you know, six top goals that you want to do within the next three to five years. So every time he trains and it gets hard, I pinpoint on that yeah. and I'm grabbing him to his heart and I'm making him realise, <clears throat> you know, how hard he has to work. Yeah. Because you know? like… Because you've got a lot of years <clears throat> of boxing experience under your belt. Right? Yeah. And I've, I've been there before and, you know, even I'm back as a coach, you know, I feel like my experience plays a lot and yeah. I can… Certainly, try and mold him, um, and not go through the same mistakes that I made uh, that I went through in decisions, this and that. But it helps that we have a very, real, like, a very similar back uh, yeah. backstory. Because I remember I used to see this guy back when we were younger. We were <clears> in the park, and he's training with his old man in pads and that. You know? mm. So it really did come out the mud, eh? <laughs> yeah, hard. <laughs> I explained this to everyone, bro. Like you see, it, a lotus plant, you know, goes through so much shit, but when it comes out and it blossoms, it's a beautiful flower. So that's what Paulo is going through now. He's going through the mud. By the time the Olympics come, he's gonna be that 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 uh <clears throat> that lotus flower by yeah. the end of the tournament. Yeah, hundred percent, man. So who do you, do you know who the top contenders are in um, your weight class? <clears throat> um, we got Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Yeah, always, always one of the stars. Yeah, yeah, always, <laughs> always their stars. There's nothing special about them. They're just real hard workers. Yeah, they just keep mm. coming forward. Don't ever give up. Yeah. Obviously, they want the gold. Yeah, so they're gonna do everything they can to get it. Bro, I reckon, I reckon you'll change the course of history if you get a yeah. goal for Australia. Last time we medaled was in the 98, 1988 Olympics, Spike Cheney, right? Yeah. Is that the last time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, that, that was a silver. Medal was a 33 silver. years or something, yeah. Fuck it, no, man. I reckon you'll change history. No, it'll be good to get the you know, gold medal, mm. the first for Australia. Yeah. Did you go to Olympi uh, the uh, Commonwealth Games? Nah. You didn't? No. So this is the first, the first yeah. games you ever been to. I didn't even think to. he was boxing then. <laughs> I, was, I was boxing then. Um, no, I couldn't go. Um, I um, put an injury. Um, coming up to the nationals, yeah, I was playing too much basketball. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> nice basketball. I love basketball. Right? That's like, cause in Brizzy, I used to just play basketball and just yeah. keep training for that. Yeah, yeah, like I was, I was just a bullshit fighter. Yeah, like I was just, just doing everything from talent. Yeah, like I didn't really work hard as that, but yeah. ever since I moved here, like you know, like I realized that hard work pays yeah. off. Yeah, so. Gold medal always. Yo, yeah, yeah, baby. Hard. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so I can't wait, eh? You'll be over there for a while, eh? So say if you do end up fighting and you go all the way to, to fight for the gold medal, how long in total will you be over there? A few months or? No, nah, um, the competition finished on the 8th of oh, August. 8th so of it's August? Not, yeah, it's not that much. I think that's like two, two and a half weeks. Nah, it'll be nearly one month you'll be in well, Japan. So much to do in yeah. oh, the time, man. The comp, yeah, it'll be yeah. two week comp. Will you be going over there with any of your family or is Loma, Loma going to join you, a boxing coach? Nah. I mean, I don't know if he wants to or not. Nah. I already said no, so. He yeah. doesn't want to get stuck overseas if they lock it yeah. down, eh? <laughs> yeah. His missus will kill him, bro. Yeah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Come back and all the stuff's outside, yeah, eh? Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, nah. It's, it's, Paul is good to go on his own. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't want to disband uh, the team if I went over. Yeah. Um, but 
He's fine. He's a big boy. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it would have caused a bit of friction if you went over. Yeah, 100%. Because they're going to be like, who the oh, fuck that's is the, this that's guy? That's the reason why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who the hell is this nobody coming to the fucking. Who the hell is this guy that knows what the fuck he's doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, we don't. But what, yeah. do you, what, do you, what do you mean by fuck that? Boxing but? Australia now. Oh, I, I, just, I, just, I just think, like, you know, because all the fighters are there, they're preparing well. I think, you know, call, yeah. cause disharmony. Like, oh, yeah. Because yeah. all the fighters will want their coaches yeah. there or, you know, someone that's there. Oh, so, yeah, I'd rather, you know, these guys should be left alone anyway because they're all. Playing that mental game. You know what I noticed? There's so much tension between boxing uh, trainers in, in Australia. Hey, why, why is that? There's too many egos because yeah. every every coach thinks that they're the best, and they're not in their own right. They're that's good. just a boxer's mentality. Yeah, and they get competitive. I'm, I'm, you know, when people actually meet me and they see me at the fighting tournaments, I'm cool, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't need to tell it's, them who I am because yeah. I've already done more. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You more know, than but, any boxing trainer on that. Yeah, but now I'm trying to earn my stripes in the. The coaching rank, so and I and I have big goals and I and I work very hard. But you know you're gonna get coaches gonna talk crap and this and that. But you know what? I oh, work you, hard, I work harder than everyone. Yeah, your accolades say different, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Also, I'm mm. um, also I was watching something on the news a few days. I think it was yesterday or the day before about Justice pulling out. What, mm. What's your whole take on that? Oh yeah, because he got injured, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah nah, shit. it's upsetting, eh? Yeah. Like then <clears> he's dreamed to uh, become Olympian and obviously win the gold since he was seven. Yeah. And Fuck. like for him to to pull an injury, it's pretty upsetting for him. But yeah, that's crazy. That's poor management, eh? Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. I think um, I feel for I feel for him because like you know I didn't make the Olympics, but the Olympic dreams is is much better than the money. Like people go, oh yeah, he made this. Yeah, you give like, a fuck about him. You can't, to have you a, can't, like to have a gold medal. Like yeah, you, yeah, you eh? can't buy that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel for justice because I know in his head he'll be like, man, I wish probably I never went through with it, or you know, probably management should have up on the injury beforehand and mm. probably not let ego do the talk and be like you know what justice will just pull out of the poor gallon fight and that chris soy fight and let his hands yeah. heal because that's more important than yeah you was know, he tenu- injured before that yeah so oh, he was already that's what they're saying, saying. yeah yeah, yeah. Saying that, right? and you know what and, that's even worse yeah so you know i can't say anything because everyone kind of you know everyone's got their opinion but yeah. You know what? Like best even, of with, even with Gallon, man, he's a he's a warrior, Gallon. Eh? He goes oh, goes for his age. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That guy yeah. is next level. Like, have you spied against him yet? No, nah, I haven't spied him, mm. but <clears throat> is he saying weight classes? Yeah, no, no, no. no he's nah, I'm more yeah. lighter, but I still yeah. spied big boys, anyways. Well, you, you've yeah. spied with him before, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's pretty good in the ring. What's he? What's he like to fight? Nah, he's fast. Like he's yeah. he's got some good speed for someone. You know, his size. Yeah, his size. Yeah. Like oh, he can move. Good, good for um, good footwork. Yeah, just I don't know, just. His, his ability is there. He moves like a middleweight. Yeah. But and I think I think after that fight as well, and um on Wednesday night against Justice, you know what? If you don't give Paul Gallant that respect after that fight, even though he's 40. That's the first that's the first time he went 10 rounds, eh? Is it? Yeah. And like Fuck, man. but he's a machine. Like, but you know, you get haters, they're gonna say, Oh, Paul Gallant was old. Man, yeah, he's old, but the guy's still performing like a 21-year-old because oh, his how, mindset. How old is he anyway? He's he's gonna. Uh, he told me off the other day because I said forty. He's actually still thirty nine, but he's turning oh, forty soon. He's a Leo baby, so. What do you know? Do you actually know Paul Gallant? Yeah, so we talk a fair bit. He's a big fan on my social media as well. Oh, that's mad, bro. But even at the press conference, hey, he loved this guy. Yeah, like, I've seen all the photos of you guys. Man. Yeah, he's like he takes the time. He's a good man, eh? Like mm. top dude. Um, but yeah, and I went to his changing room after, and I told him, man, like you know what, you inspire a lot of people. Um, if yeah. people don't respect you after this fight, they're fucking wankers anyway. So yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But, but you know, with uh, Paul Gallon, right? Yeah. I just want to ask you guys a, like a serious question. Yeah. You, you know John for a while. Right? Here it is, bro. Here we go. Is this? Guy? <laughs> he yeah. Called, yeah. You, you know, a few weeks ago, he called him out. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen. He's you doing it on that, my page. Yeah, I reckon Paul <laughs> seen. He's like this guy. <laughs> but in your opinion, you reckon this guy even stands like. a chance, bro? If, if if Cash trains hard, yeah, why not? Like. Yeah. But have you seen him throw hands? Yeah, hundred percent. He's, he's trained pumping. by my father. He knows. I'll pump him, bro. Is he any good? He's that's yeah, the best he boxing up. trainer he, in the he moves west, up. baby. I tell people, yeah, like, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell, I tell people, go like, man, Cash can whack because I get a lot of people to ask me about Cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go, do you reckon he can whack? I'm like, yeah, bro, fucking oh. <laughs> if it comes from my mouth, yeah, yeah. then you don't go near him. So it's good. So you reckon you he actually can box? Yeah, he can box. There you go, people. Paul Gallon, I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> but is he is he allowed to? I, I heard that if you've got a criminal record, you can't fight. Yeah, combat or sports are is like. That, is, that, is that real? Yeah, yeah, combat or sports will pull you up because it's it's yeah. you know new legislation. Like no way. I'm not yeah, going to say anything shocking. about combat or sports because we know how good they run the boxing here and combat. <laughs> yeah, sports. Shout out but to combat sports. So, yeah, so, 
so I'm getting banned and respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you can so this guy can never fight Paul Gallant even if he wanted to. Not in not in New South Wales. Maybe at the pub, oh, boy. Not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, not in New South Wales. Nah, not in New South Wales. How about Queensland in it? Yeah, because they don't every other state they don't have that legislation. Mm. They don't have combat oh, sports. Still hope. They'll probably roll it out in every state anyway. They're trying to, but I know the state uh bodies don't, don't want it happening. Yeah. So yeah. So put this scenario in your head. Say you go to the Olympics, yeah. You beat them all up, you get the gold medal. Then you come back, what's next on the cards? Bro? Go straight pros. Go straight pros. Yeah, I want to at least get three fights before the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I want to stay active. Mm. Like, I just want to keep keep performing, keep showing yeah. everyone. How many yeah. fights do you reckon before title shot? To be honest. Uh, hopefully, hopefully eight or something. Like, at least, what title yeah, are you talking ten. about? Huh? World title? Yeah, like world title. All I will do in under 20. Under 20? Yeah. It, it, like, you see a Josh Taylor and a Tafima, they're all doing it within yeah. like 15. Yeah. Yeah, so you like, seen him move, bro. He moves like like a young Roy Jones, like a yeah, like a Tong and Roy Jones. Now, um, got your Samoans. Samoans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Again, bro. Samoan again, bro. <laughs> the the Samoans win you. again. Fuck it up. Come on, Tonga, <laughs> where are you? Fuck <laughs> Tonga. Uh, <laughs> Samoans, bro. Oh, he's he's having a hair surgery. Oh, is he? <laughs> 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 hey, he's half Sam Warren, but he's yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, no, but as the hand's on as, soon as, they said was, as soon as they said he was getting the hand injury, I just heard the Sam Warren huck up music. Fuck with Sam Warren. No, bro. Uh, no, that's crazy, bro, man. But I'm pretty sure one of your past lives, you were Tongan, man, because that's what yeah, they did to the gold uh, medal, right? <laughs> 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 no, that's crazy, bro, man. So <laughs> training from now until next week, and then he leaves mm, Thursday, yeah. eh? So you know when you go pros, right? Mm. Is there a lot of politics to get like a big fight? Yeah. Like um, all the guys that I've been talking to, especially like people who've got like big connects, there's, and even like just being at the gallon fight, there's there's a smell of like higher corruption. And yeah, the I was pro. about to, I was just about it's to It's big. You. It's not like, you know how you go to amateur fight and it's like you get ripped off and it's like, yeah, they got ripped off. Mate, when you're in the pros, you can just smell it around you. Yeah, you can yeah. do stuff like fucking up the gloves or... Can you really do that? Is that real? Yeah, I was in the movies, man. Oh, 100%. Like, it's it's everywhere. But the thing is, like, depending what sanction you want to go down, because, you know, some sanctions, they pay a lot, like, a higher fee, you know, when you win the bouts, this and that. Yeah. And, um, yeah. uh, and I hear, and I hear, like... You mean, like, different boxing associations? Yeah, so, like, yeah, WBC, like WBC, IBF, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll get so confused about that. Eh? Yeah, they should. Mayweather actually came out the other day talking about they should scrap all the bouts and keep mm. to one. Yeah. WBC, eh? Yeah, but the, pro, the the thing is everyone wants to get paid because there's a lot of money in yeah. boxing. So yeah. everyone has to get paid. Um, yeah, I'll leave it out because I don't want it coming back. The to whole direction of boxing has gone a bit weird now. They're doing the exhibition matches with YouTube. Oh, so now, what's your, take, yeah, what's your take on Yeah, 100%. It's gone from like actual fighters to like who's got the most followers. Yeah, that's what it is. These days it's like, even Spaniard said this. He goes, as soon as you're a celebrity, it's a boxing match. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, it's it like is. It's a shortcut, eh? Yeah, it's a shortcut. Um, it, I'm half, well, half, I'm half, half on this. One of these YouTubers is gonna get hurt soon, man. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Kill him. Hundred percent. It's yeah. Everything is just for money. That's what it is. Everyone, you know, money rules the world. So good for the sport or bad? <sighs> good good and bad. Good and bad. Good good bad. Yeah, it's half, half. But, but, what about your take on um, UFC fighters like transitioning over? They don't get it until they fight a boxer. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, most of the time they transit because they know the money is better in boxing. Yeah, so. yeah, way better. Right? Way better. Yeah, but, but Anderson Silva just won his last fight. He was already a pro boxer before he got into yeah. MA. So he already had the. Was he really? Oh, yeah. yeah, he already he had a couple. Because yeah, he fights. looked good. Yeah, nah, he's he's comfortable. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. looked like and, a. Yeah. And, and usually the Brazilians in the MMA, they all got good boxing backgrounds. Yeah, boxing yeah. background. Yeah, right. so they're good. They're they're funda fundamentally they're very good. You follow the heavyweight division much? In the UFC? No, 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 in the in the boxing. Yeah. What do you think about that last fight with um Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder where they said that he was doing something to the gloves? You think that was true? Or? Nah, no way. Fucking yeah. Tyson Fury is way better. Yeah, Dante Wilder just makes a lot of uh, Yeah, I though. think he's gonna get smashed within three rounds in the next. I don't know why. Fight. I think Boy called it that Joshua fight and he's fighting uh Wilder now, way. Who? Uh, um Fury. Fury. Nah, Fury. Fury wanted to fight uh Joshua. Nah, I seen something with his old man. No, nah, they were gonna no, nah, they were gonna fight, but then the rematch clause with Deontay he came to fuck up the party. Oh no! Uh, right. yeah. yeah. So they would have made sure he signed that before. Yeah. Before the, before he moved on. Yeah. Well, so you know rematch clauses, they actually put that in the contract. Yes. If someone loses, if there's too much state, like say if like maybe if Wilder and Fury never happened, and then Fury and Joshua happened because there's so many belts on the line, you have to put a rematch yeah. clause. Because what oh, happens yeah, if yeah. Joshua got all? He's got three or four of the belts, mm. and then say if. Fury beats him, of yeah. course you're gonna to have to put because he needs yeah, to get yeah, win all his belts back. Yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. they they work hard to get the belt. So yeah, uh, which, which which belt pays the most out of all of them? 
Fuck no idea. WBC. WBC, yeah. Well, that, but I heard IBF play, play well. Yeah. I'll just hear it. You going for WBC or what? Go for all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Undisputed. I reckon you'll get them all, bro. Yeah. I reckon you'll get them all. Go for more. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so how's your week been going? Uh, oh, man, crazy, man. Yeah? Oh, How you been? You been good or what? Yeah, you got off my charges. So yeah, something. that's good. <laughs> we need a drinking session. Yeah. I, and no, then bring I, mocktails for Paula. Actually, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I can't drink anymore. I've got the two-year CCO order, so they gave me 400 uh, hours community service. Okay, yeah. And they stopped me from drinking for two years. Yeah, but that's good anyway. Yeah, I think it's better for my health anyway. Getting there, training with you. Yeah. Meet Gallon at the pub, you know. Fuck yeah. him up. <laughs> One, two, three. This and that. Bro, I'm willing to the put G all my money. The G-Train's going to message me, hey. <laughs> the Gallon will beat you, bro. He's just willing to, he's just <laughs> to put all my money in, bro. You won't even last two rounds, every, bro. Every day we're driving no, I'll tell you why. I've seen, him, yeah. I've seen him throw punches, right? Yeah. And he leans forward too much, bro. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I told him I Gallon would just slip that and then over here. You got to listen to your brain, I'm saying, bro. I told him, it's been a while. I'm leaning forward too much. And then he's like, the next week, he goes, yeah, you're leaning forward too much. Nah, it's good yeah. to hear, bro. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. just um, yeah, we just decided, decided to get you guys on here, man, because uh, the fans are a bit sick of hearing us to yeah, take the piece out of each other. So yeah, we thought we'd get the future champ on. Yeah, uh, you're never coming back to this podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it already, yeah. man. As soon as he gets that gold medal, we won't even talk to you yeah. anymore, man. He'd be nah, like, nah, my, my appearance fees like $5,000 yeah. for 30 I was minutes. Like, yeah. I, was tell, I was telling these guys, I was like, bro, we better get him because yeah. when he comes back from the Olympics, he's not going to know us yeah. anymore. Nah, they're like, nah, nah but nah. your mum is your mate. And I'm like, yeah, nah, him too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call him all you hear is the voicemail. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Leave your message. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's good because like, it's good for Paulo to do these kind of things, yeah, especially yeah. to build up his reputation and his um, popularity in Australia. So, yeah, next week, like, he'll get a taste of that on Wednesday. Yeah. So, he's got a full media day. Yeah, yeah, I heard he's got tomorrow, man. Yeah, so this is what we need to do to build up his PR since they yeah, just yeah. as fucked his hand. So, yeah. time to take the line. <laughs> like, sorry, brother. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was a bit in the shadow. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, Justin, yeah, but he, he was, knows. He was, it was yeah. a bit of back, like, behind the shadows. Yeah. Justin was taking all the light, man. Now, Paulo likes that. Oh, Paulo yeah, makes like him it? hungry. Yeah, because wow. no, even at the... Um, the the Olympic announcement, everyone was getting all the media, all the cameras, and yeah. I was just sitting there at the back. <laughs> and my brother was just like, bro, fuck all these people, bro. They don't know shit. Yeah. 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 Your brother sounds yeah. like the man. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar free. <laughs> Sugar free, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, he was just telling me, like, fuck all these people, man. Like, they don't know who the real boxer is yeah. and all this stuff. But like, Very humble blood. Yeah. Yeah. But I like that, but mm. like, yeah. you know, I like that. It'd, yeah. yeah. it'd, it'd be a bit nerve-wracking, eh? Like, just yeah. out of the blue... Five years boxing, bang in front of the cameras. Hard. What do you say, eh? <laughs> you nah. walk up like oh, I did in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> hard. No, nah, but it motivates me more. Like I'm more more driven now than ever. Yeah. Like being in the, just being in the shadows, like everyone's just like, you know, taking all the limelight. Yeah. You know? But like it gives them like all the nerves and shit. Cause yeah. like it's it's all on them. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just mm. come from the back and Win the gold and out of nowhere, yeah. everyone's like, fuck, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Hello, <laughs> who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nah, yeah, nah, it's, good, it's, good. it's good. good you got this, this guy guiding you along the way as well. Man. Yeah, 100%. Big partner, though. Yeah. Crazy, man. Now, all the car rides, yeah. bro, fuck, still talking about training. And fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to do those car rides with his old man. We should yeah. sit there for hours just talking yeah, boxing. Talking, bro. Yeah. I'm just there looking at him like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> just schooling him about all this stuff, man. But that's good, man. The whole country's behind you, man. We're all supporting you. I, I know you'll get gold, man. I reckon yeah, 100%. Gold. Appreciate it, man. 100%, bro. 100%. <laughs> Australia's number one podcast is supporting you as well, bro. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> that he's he never coming back to when he gets gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, That's it good. for this week's season, huh? Good luck, Thanks man. Thanks for coming, boys. Nice Appreciate it, boys. Thanks, bro. Hello, dickhead. Yeah, yeah baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs>